Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is DKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Marry My Husband, episode 45. Due to Webtoon's new policy, I do the blur this episode for 50% with the cat logo and everything. So if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. And for anyone out there who don't want to deal with the whole blur and all that stuff with the cat logo, I do have it on my Patreon page at patreon.com slash ckt chaotic here you guys will also have access to my content for the month of june uh early access and everything so if that's something you guys are interested i do have a free trial out right now for tier two and tier three subscriptions so definitely check it out i'll drop the link in the description box below man how to talk so fast all right let's go ahead and get started i totally forgot what happened huh Gee. Marry My Husband, Episode 45. Hi. <sighs> It's been weeks. When are you going to wake up, Opa? This is all my fault. Just as Jiren Oni was diagnosed with cancer instead of me, Jihyuk almost died because of me. Since there's a higher chance that my misfortune will pass on to other to people that are closest to me. I'm so sorry, Jihyuk. I'll get out of your life. I'll take care of everything and leave before you wake up from your coma. So please be okay. What was your motive? Did you know that the victim was related to the chairman of you and K? Do you plead guilty to the charges brought against you? Order in the court. Let us proceed with the trial. It feels really nice to see Suman in a jail outfit. While taking care of her mother-in-law at the hospital, the defendant murdered her mother-in-law by injecting air bubbles in the IV line. Did I get all the facts right? I didn't do it! Why would I murder a family member? Your Honor, I would like to call the next witness to the stand. Wait, is it? St st Please give the court your testimony. Huh? Is that the lady who was in the bed next to mother's? If the defendant had in fact taken good care of her mother-in-law, then her health would have improved at least slightly. But the victim's paraly paralysis worsened every day. Then one night, after one of the nurses had given the victim a tranquilizer, I saw the defendant stick a syringe into the ivy line. That's a lie! She's just lying because she's jealous of how young and pretty I am. I did my best to take care of my mother-in-law. You don't have any evidence. Ms. Gion, you may not address the court at this time. Your Honor, I move that Plaintiff's Exhibit 1 be admitted into evidence. Ms. Jiao Kim's autopsy report concluded that the cause of death was air embolism. Autopsy report. She, she is presumed to have suffered a block vessel blockage caused by considerable amount of air bubbles that had been injected into her blood vessels. Moreover, according to the hospital records, a syringe went missing that night. <laughs> Your Honor, I also offer Plaintiff Exhibit 2 into evidence to prove that attempted murder charges brought against the defendant. Beep. I'm about to be thrown in, in jail and you're out here with Chairman's grandson? Damn you, G1! I'm about to get arrested, so what am I waiting for? Die, G1, die! 
Oh, there's a recording in the car. There's a dash cam in the car. She's such a doofus. Does the defense have anything more to say? Oh, that's the judge. Does the does the defense have anything more to say? <laughs> no, Your Honor. Hey, you're my lawyer. Tell them I'm innocent, and go find evidence to support my case. Not only did the defendant murder her mother-in-law in heinous manner, she also attempted to murder an acquaintance she resented while resented while trying to make a getaway. The defendant has failed to show even the slightest remorse for the crime she has committed. No, Suman is innocent. Why is everyone picking on me? Shihyukyu is a grandson of a business mogul. He's loaded. Who cares if he's in a coma? Jiwon. She is the one behind all of this. Lock up that bi- Not me! Be quiet, Miss Jiwon. Case number 209D2928. I will make a ruling now. Defendants. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell. It was like her. This court sentenced this the defendant, Suman Jion, to a lifetime term of imprisonment. Oh my gosh. She's the last leave. Mr. Park? This dreadful thing would have wouldn't have happened. If you had just married Minwon, I blame you for this. What were you doing when your late wife was bossing around your daughter-in-law? You probably saw your daughter-in-law as someone who would cook and clean for your son and bear your grandchildren. So I bet you just watched from the sidelines. Being a bystander is also a form of violence. It's unfortunate that you're blaming me. When you're the one who did nothing to stop the situation from spiraling out of control. <laughs> it's okay, Jiwon. You're used to being hated. I miss you, Jiyuk. Beep, beep, beep. How, how have you been, Peng? Daddy will be home soon. Let's go to mommy's place tonight. I'm just going to quickly pack some things for him. How interesting. I guess rich people used steam closet back in the day too. Is there anything in this room I need to pack? It's a calendar of April. Why does he have it set to April when it's already October? Huh? Huh? We'll get it right this time. No matter what. It's the day I traveled 10 years back in time and came back to life. I don't know what he means by that. But I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I should change it to October. October 2nd. Don't run away. It's the day I got married to Minwan in my previous life. Huh? Whose address is this? Busan 00GU00R0108. Wait. It's 2009, right now. Which means the new address system hasn't been put in place yet. And yet, this address is written in the new format. A letter? What? This is a huge plot twist, guys. Impossible. Dear Jiwon, my love, Jiyuk, have you also traveled back in time? Whoa, whoa, what? Wait, so he's from the future that came back with her? Is that a possibility? 
Dude, my heart strings just tugged a lot. But, oh my gosh. One, congratulations, you guys. Suman is in jail. There's no way she can escape unless she can. There's always a possibility, you know, for good behavior or something. But it is a life sentence, so I don't know if she will get out. But I'm so glad Jiwon stick it to her former in-laws and was like, yeah, you were on the you were the sideline. You stood on the sideline and watched everything spiraled and you did nothing. So you are also for like, you also did the blame. And he finally cried, you know, he actually showed emotion. Instead of blaming others continuously, he finally realized he's also at fault. But of course, Suman did not admit it. She doesn't see it. She's just like, why is everyone against me? Instead of realizing she did this to herself. She continued that horrible path. And also, like, I remember someone in the comment was like, well, technically, Jiwon and Suman are like stepsisters because their parents, you know, hooked up. And I was like, you're right. They're actually stepsisters without realizing it, you know? But wow, just a lot going on here. And now we're feel realizing Mr. Yu is from the future that came back to help her. Is that why he's just so secure? Like he wasn't like questioning her on the things that she was doing, why she needed a, a spare phone, why she needs to do this, why she's out late and stuff like that. Like he trusted her because maybe he knows. Wow, it's just a lot like unraveling in my brain right now. But guys, what do y'all think? All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!